OMR Renee, thank you so much. Hi traders, here's my market recap today. We started well, pre-market time, lots of pre-market picks. One of them is RKT, you see it's down almost 4%. I'm gonna short 8,000 shares. It's not a big mover. I'm about to short the first uh, few minutes, third minutes into the trading session. Short now 8,000 shares. Why? Because it started with a gap down, tried to move higher, failed, now coming down, nice reversal just like the one you see right here in mRNA. So mRNA is another big candidate because it's down almost 9% and I'm about to show 4,000 shares. Shorting now, again, a stock that started with a big gap down, tried to move higher, failed, now coming down. You don't expect an uptrend. You expect it to fail and come down under the lows. Same applies for NVAX. Now look at how quick things turned out uh, today. NVAX, same idea, a big gap down, almost 8%, shorting here. Why? Because it tried to move higher, it failed, and then it comes down. Now look at uh, mRNA, coming down under the lows right here, and I'm getting ready for my partial. It's up two points, $8,000 in the profits, going to about to cover 3,600 shares, clicking the button right here, first sign of a pullback, just uh, made at around $8,000, and look at NVX doing quite the same now. Now it's a bit fast forward here in NVX, and now under the lows, $8,000, more than $8,000, a small sign of a pullback, clicking the button, and took a great partial in NVX. Now, keeping 400 shares for the longer run, at the same time, RKT, just came down under the lows. That's not a big mover as the other ones, but that's a beautiful trade. Just pulled back a little bit, took my partial a little bit less than $2,000. Look at how quickly things turned out to be today. And if you like this video so far, how about giving us a thumb up? Help small people like you find this channel and hopefully um, learn a little bit more about day trading. Now, my trading session was not over here. Let's take, let's take a look at my next trade. And now here's my last trade, the best trade today. mRNA, once more, bad news in mRNA, actually all the coronavirus companies, take a look at the daily, three days coming down really strong. It's way to extend to the downside. Normally, it should pull back up. Right now, it's kind of a dodgy. Watch the intraday. Well, I shorted this one earlier, but now it seems like it may be trending higher. So I'm thinking about this 150 area to go long. In fact, I want to start going long a little bit earlier than that. I want to take 4,000 shares. Now, notice I'm still short 100 shares, but in this platform, which is great, I can just click one click of a button. I switch in between short and long. So I'm going to click long by 4,000 shares, about to do it now. And as you can see, it turned from minus 100, which was short 100 to long 3,900, 4,000 shares long. So I'm gonna uh, fast forward it because I thought at that point it's likely to go higher. It did not. It kept going sideways and gave me a little bit of a hard time. But you know, uh, it did not come down and I had a very clear idea about the daily. Take a look at how it's building a very, very nice technical formation over 150. Now again, I went show, I went long a little bit earlier than I should have. My initial plan was to go long at 150. I thought it's gonna make it. It did do it a little bit later and I'm about to add right now because it's gonna move over 150, adding right here another eight thousand shares because now it proved to me that it wants to go higher as you can see it's clearly is trending higher well it kept going sideways it kept going sideways for a while but as you can see the stock is holding to this level and feels like it's about to turn higher and again i'm trusting the daily i'm watching the daily and i'm thinking well it's very likely to continue its move and right here it made the decision so now it made the decision it's about to move moving now over the highs and uh, as you can see i'm long uh, quite a large size and i was hoping to get some several points uh, uh, a several points target and as you can see it started very nicely just moved over the highs and again i'm fast forwarding so you can see what happened there and it you know Everything has to do with daily. Always when you trade a stock, take a look at the daily, get the idea of what is about to happen. And right now it's uh, moving to a new high. And well, my target was just over 152, but I'm um, very happy that it moved over 153. And I'm about to take my partial. I'm already up $33,000. Took my partial right over here. And that was really an amazing long in mRNA. And again, it all has to do with daily. End result, mRNA is up over $40,000. I've got a great trade in FSLY, NVAX, small winner in RKT. But you know, 
everything was prepared pre-market time. Everything was ready pre-market time. I was, I, I, I was following them, I put them on my chart and I was just waiting for an opportunity for a fantastic gap and go. And the last one, of course, mRNA is in the direction of closing the gap. Now, there was a, a bit of a discussion in the trading room, which I would like you to hear. And uh, please listen to this one. And again, if you like this video so far, please give us a thumb up. And now let's go to the discussion we had in the trading room. And, and nice. Mayor, just a, a couple of points here and, and the rest of the trading team. You remember last week uh, as uh, we, we kind of talked and Mayor and I went back and forth about, you know, having a red week, having a red day, uh, Mayor. And then, you know, what I've noticed is is now bouncing back. You kind of started off slow. Um, and w what you didn't do is you didn't change the system. You didn't change your the way you go about your trading, your trading style. You remained with the trading style, right? Coming into this week, you have a big, huge day today on a Thursday, which, you know, which obviously makes your week green. And then, you know, last week coming off of a red week kind of and, and a red month kind of starts you off this month really, really special. So how, you know, I, I know you pretty well and, I, and I've seen you interact here, but you didn't change the system. So what was your mindset going into this week coming off of last month's red and now coming into this yeah. week and having such a banner day today. Yeah, good point. Uh, good point to discuss. You may remember, traders, we discussed that last week. I came off several weeks where I was in between zero to red and um, uh, mostly red. So I, I had a tough month or so, maybe a little bit more than a month. And we discussed the fact that every trader goes through periods like that. Every trader, it's just times where the market doesn't move uh, the way we expected it or we do not have enough uh, trading opportunities. So we just came off several weeks that were rather hard. You know what, I'm up this week. I don't wanna, I, I can't really remember the numbers right now, but I think including today, more than $50,000. I think I'm probably getting close or at around $100,000 since Thursday. So I'm having a fantastic week this week. And I didn't change anything. The, some of you asked whether we should change our systems. No, we shouldn't. Market always goes back to the normal market. It takes some time, some time. Uh, you know, so it, it, I remember, and I, I said that last week, I, I remember periods of several months that uh, were tough. And never change anything. Things are going back to normal. Just hang on to the same systems. Maybe reduce some size, but once you see that things are going your way, this week definitely going my way. I felt very good today. And, you know, pre-market time, I kind of knew it's going to be an interesting day because lots of movers, lots of picks. Look at my shortlist today, the pre-market shortlist. You don't usually find that. And when you do, I mean, big gaps like FSLY down 24%, RKT 15 and more and more and more. So if you take a look at everything, Everything just added up today, same system, same idea, never change anything, and then just things go back to normal. Uh, just some patience and things are going back. Uh, is this a normal market? Well, definitely today, oh. Gary. <laughs> this week. <laughs> I can't guarantee next week or tomorrow. Okay, traders, uh, have fun.